Wakenya wakiendelea kugadhabishwa na gharama kubwa ya mafuta inayoendelea kupanda kile uchao wengi wao hawafahamu ruzuku ya serikali ni nini chanzo chake na jinsi inavyofanya kazi katika juhudi za kupunguza bei za mafuta nchini Kenya Tunazungumza na Marshall Nyangor mtaalamu uchumi anayetuelezea kuhusu ruzuku ya serikali kwa kina na kuto, kutolewa kwake kama inavyopendekeza serikali kutua, kutua, na jinsi eh, kitatuathiri sisi kama wa Kenya kama inaongezwa inaongezwa juu ya reason gani unanipata i think ni serikali kuweka fedha pale kujaribu kupunguza gharama kwa consumers hiyo mimi sielewi labda useme unexplainie kama nzuri iko juu mafuta naenda juu ni vipi ambavyo ruzuki ya serikali inavyotekelezwa na inahusisha mambo yepi uh, the prices of oil and oil products are kind of regulated and uh, the reason for this is generally to caution the public against the Uh, high high inflation or high cost of those or products bei ya mafuta ghafi ulimwenguni imekuwa ikiendelea kupanda tangu mwanzo wa vita kati ya taifa la Urusi na Ukraine ugavi wa mafuta hayo yakipungua kutokana na vikwazo vya mafuta ya Urusi the Kenya does not produce oil so we still have to import and that means that the international prices have to hit us hata hivyo, ruzuki ya mafuta imewazuia wenye magari hapa nchini Kenya kulipa shilingi 184.68 kwa lita ya petroli na shilingi 188.19 kwa lita ya dizeli. Uh, there was a proposal I think around 2021. In fact it was a, a bill that came into place and became a law that the government set up a fund uh, through which now they can be saving some money when when the oil prices are low and then the prices uh, increases to certain level at that time they were looking at anything beyond $50 per barrel per barrel in the international prices so when the prices were to increase beyond $50 per barrel the government will now come in and start paying the importers the difference so that the importers can sell it at an agreed price mwaka 2011 serikali ilianzisha usawazishaji wa bei ya mafuta ili kuzuia na biashara wa mafuta kuendelea kupandisha bei ya mafuta kutokana na ongezeko la bei ya bidhaa hiyo duniani kati ya mwaka 2007 na 2008. Kwa kawaida, bei ya mafuta hudhibitiwa na mamlaka ya usimamizi wa nishati na petroli kila tarehe 14 ya mwezi kwa miji mbalimbali hapa nchini Kenya. Bei inayotolewa na mamlaka hiyo huzingatia gharama ya mafuta ghafi ya kimataifa, usafirishaji, hifadhi na utofauti wa bei za mafuta sokoni. The demand for this oil Uh, has increased to a level that now is not sustainable so these uh, countries the, the countries that were initially selling to Kenya all of a sudden have uh, demand from Europe and other countries bila ruzuku ya serikali na ushawazishaji wa bei ya mafuta huenda bei za bidhaa hizo zikapita kipimo ya mamlaka husika kwa mfano lita petroli ambayo kwa sasa inauzwa kwa shilingi 142 hapa jijini Nairobi ingeuzwa kwa takriban shilingi 173 kuanzia mwaka 2021 serikali imewalipa wauzaji mafuta wa kibinafsi jumla ya shilingi bilioni 49.64 uh, when the oil prices were low very very low the kenyan prices didn't really go that low uh, the truth is that i think they the price was stuck at between 80 to 90 to 100 shillings even when the near, neighboring countries were selling it even lower at 60 70 shillings what happened is that, that there was a margin there uh, there is around 5 shillings per liter that was being uh, kept aside for to set up this fund and to use it but of course uh, the speculations are that some of that money was utilized to do other government activities so assumption is that probably it's exhausted also wakenya wametakiwa kutarajia ongezeko la bei ya mafuta siku zijazo baada ya serikali kusema kuwa inakuwa vigumu kudumisha ruzuku ambayo imekuwa ikiwasaidia wa Kenya kumuhudu bei za mafuta zinazozidi kupanda kila mwezi. Kwa mtazamo wao, serikali inaweza kuzuia gharama kubwa ya mafuta kwa njia tofauti. Hopefully if the situation in the middle is resolved and uh, maybe Russia goes back to supplying oils and it might stabilize the supply once there is enough supply then the demand matches the supply maybe the prices start reducing the other option again of course is international again which are where is the opec comes in they need to pump in more oil so that at least they they diminish that gap that is created by demand supply as a result of the russia going out of the supply we will continue to pick up the subsidy probably not at the 
at the optimal level, you know, because we are taking the differential, we are taking the entire delta, but we, it might require us to, to change that if, if the situation doesn't improve. Na mtazamaji tarifa hiyo inatukumbusha ya baadhi ya mikakati ambayo serikali inaendelea kuweka ili kuhakikisha kwamba tunamudu bei ile gali ya mafuta ambayo imezidi kupanda kile uchao. Nikasema niende nimuitise chacha tena. Nikaenda. Kwa nyumba nikapika mlango, nikapika si aongei, apungui. Nikapika mlango sana. Hakuongea. 